Okay. So our next task is to transfer what we have come up to Microsoft Word. But before that, let's speak. Let us fix things here. So pag kinapi natin, ulat ay magiging problem. Okay. So let's have, let's copy here the daily. COVID-19 cases and then the frequency and the percentage okay so we'll copy na natin to let's widen na okay so tatanggalin na natin tong CUCL okay just copy here copy. so just type in na lang to 209 to uh, 251. Okay, we have 252 to 290. Then we have 295 to 337. And 338 to 380. We have 381 to 423. Okay. And we have the total. We have the frequency. Then yung kopyahin lahat yan. Just copy. Control C. Then click, right click. Choose paste special. Then values. Okay. The same here. So then copy. Control C. Then right click. The percentage. Column. Then special values okay then ayos uh, na lang yung decimal number okay gusto yung dalawa dalawa then we are ready to transfer this in microsoft word just copy copy let's open microsoft word A blank document then paste yan so I'm going to add I'm going to insert a uh, row above dami pala isa lang dapat diba may gagawin ako doon table properties muna tayo table properties borders and shading lahat natin lalagyan kasi yan ang nakalagay sa this is ninyo, my borders. Okay. Then I'm going to uh, insert a row above. Si bakit? Diyan ko ilalagay yung title. Para hindi, para in-edit ko yung word ko, hindi nawawala yung title. Borders and shading. Then, uh, to. Pero meron sa ilalim na tira ha? Then, right click ulit. Merge. So, of course, sa table, kailangan may title yan. Control E. Type natin. Control B. It should be both table 1. O, oh, diba? Ito daily reported case COVID-19 cases in the city Okay, anong date? August 1 to 31, 2021. Okay, this one is center natin yan, bold. Then center natin to lahat. Then, bold. Okay, oh, gusto niyo palitan ng ano, ng Tawag nito, font size, it will pang required sa thesis. Sa school, ewan ko kung sa inyo, area lang usually. Depende yan sa skwelahan. Okay. I-center natin to kasi center yan usually sa thesis cell. Ah, sorry, natay sa alignment cell, center. Okay. At usually sa thesis, tandaan nyo itong ginagawa ko kasi gagawin nyo rin sa mga susunod na araw. Layout, 
margin usually custom margins anyways may record naman tayo balikan nyo na lang left is 1.5 okay so yan okay okay natin dito table oh, wait, 12 pa rin pala 12 ang ating font Arial is the font size. Tay, font size. Okay, ito na. Let's interpret it and present it in text, textual manner. Okay, as shown. Balak yung paano yung interpret yun? As shown in table one. Okay, among the Oh, sorry. As shown in table 1 from the 30 day reported okay, COVID-19. COVID-19. Mahirap pag on the spot. Eh. COVID-19 cases in the city of Manila were as follows. Okay? 209 to 251 uh, has 10 cases. Has 10. Has 10 cases. Okay? Equivalent to 33.33 percent 252 to 290 has three cases oh, copyahin nyo na lang yan oh. equivalent to 10.00 dapat yan kasi para consistent okay next is 295 to 337 has how many cases 10 cases equivalent to So 33.33 percent, and uh, we have uh, 338 to 380 has how many cases? Six cases, equivalent to 20 percent, and 381 to 423. Has one case equivalent to equivalent to three point thirty three percent. Okay, so, no. so of course a thesis it should be justified and double space. Okay, so we're able to. Yeah. Present the table in a tabular form and text textual form. So, ito, laging magkasama yan sa thesis writing. Okay? Oh. And we're able to, to present the raw data into a much more presentable and readable uh, information. Okay? So, next video, we will be talking about how to present the uh, categorical data and as well as continuous data.